It is a quiet day on a secure airfield. A shape sits on the tarmac hidden under a vast gray cover, close up of the cover and shadow. Few people have seen what lies beneath. Fewer still know its true name or capabilities. Most have only seen artist sketches or digital renderings fueling speculation and debate across the globe. This covered shape is more than just a machine. It is a symbol of a continent's ambition. This is Europe's next generation fighter jet, a project of immense complexity and strategic importance. Today, we will lift the cover, not physically, but with information. We will explore what this aircraft is designed to do and why it matters so deeply for the future of European security. The world of military aviation is on the cusp of a profound transformation. The jets that dominated the skies for decades face new, sophisticated challenges. This new European aircraft is not an upgrade, it rethinks air power. It is built to operate in contested environments. Stealth is crucial, data is crucial, networking is crucial. Section 2 the genesis of a new guardian. The primary motivation is simple and urgent, security. The strategic landscape has changed dramatically. Potential adversaries field advanced air defense systems, powerful new radars, long-range surface-to-air missiles, networked sensors. The skies are more dangerous for non-stealthy aircraft. Operating freely in contested airspace is no longer a given. To maintain credible defense and project stability, Europe needs an aircraft that survives and thrives in high-threat environments. Older designs are becoming less suited. Technology moves forward at a relentless pace. The fighters of the 1990s and the 2000s were based on older airframe ideas. Next-gen air combat begins with low observability and real-time data processing and sharing. A new fighter must be built with these principles at its core. Difficult to detect. Difficult to track. Difficult to target a powerful sensor and a communications hub. Networking enables faster, better decisions. Section 3. Forging an alliance in the skies. FCAS is not the product of a single nation. It is a monumental collaboration led by three powers, France, Germany, Spain. Each brings unique industry strengths and funding. France, through Dassault Aviation, leads the new generation fighter. Mirage, Rafale, the piloted centerpiece, the new generation fighter carrier-capable experience is invaluable. Germany focuses on remote carriers and sensors. Remote carriers, unmanned drones flying alongside the jet, essential to networked warfare. The air combat cloud connects jets, drones, satellites and command centers. Spain contributes key systems via companies like Indra, sensors and simulation systems, sharing cost, pooling talent, meeting shared requirements. Challenges remain, but strategic autonomy drives unity. Section 4, The Ghost in the Machine. At first glance the design looks strikingly simple, almost minimalist. That simplicity serves one purpose, stealth, a sleek blended wing body with clean lines and an absence of radar reflective right-angled surfaces. Traditional versus stealth, how radar bounces, deflects, and is absorbed. The fuselage is sculpted to deflect radar away from the source. Detection becomes difficult, tailless and V-tail profiles further cut radar cross-section. Every curve and angle is optimized for low observability. Inside the cockpit, tradition gives way to technology. No clutter of dials and gauges, instead, an all-glass cockpit, a large panoramic display with a customizable interface. It presents a fused, intuitive picture of the battle space. Data from the jet's own sensors, its drone wingmen, friendly aircraft, and satellites are combined into one tactical map. Sensor fusion. Sensor fusion is the digital heart of the aircraft. It offloads mental work so the pilot focuses on strategy. An advanced AESA radar scans multiple directions at once, tracks many targets, and can jam. A 360-degree distributed aperture system stitches an all-around view. The pilot can virtually see through the airframe and spot incoming threats from any direction. The true revolution is the air combat cloud, a secure high-bandwidth mesh linking all assets. Through it, the pilot tasks remote carriers to scout, identify targets, jam defenses, or designate strikes. Data flows both ways. Drones send sensors back. The pilot retains tactical control. A distributed network endures even if one node drops. The piloted jet acts as the brain for a larger sensor and weapons web. The pilot shifts from stick and rudder to mission commander. Training in advanced simulators prepares crews for this complexity. Commanding this team unlocks the full potential of FKS.
At the core of performance are powerful, sophisticated engines. Next-gen adaptive cycle engines aim for efficiency across regimes, fuel-sipping subsonic crews, high thrust for combat, bypass ratio shifts mid-flight to match the mission, enabling supercruise, sustained supersonic without afterburners, shielded nozzles mix exhaust to cut the heat signature and evade IR missiles. Engines also generate massive electrical power for sensors and EW. That powers advanced radar and potent electronic warfare, Potentially, future lasers for defense, weapons ride in internal bays as smart networked munitions, long-range air-to-air missiles like Meteor, precision standoff strike weapons, smaller, numerous weapons to engage more targets per sortie, in-flight updates via the combat cloud, prepared for hypersonics, over Mach 5, hard to intercept, open architecture and power generation enable directed energy defense, the mix of stealth, advanced engines and a future-proof arsenal keeps the fighter dominant for decades. When comparing the new generation fighter to Europe's current jets, Eurofighter Typhoon and Dassault Rafale, the difference is not incremental, it is generational. Typhoon and Rafale are agile and powerful, 4.5 generation fighters, but they were not conceived around stealth. The new jet is stealth first, able to penetrate defended airspace where others are at risk. Current fighters often operate as individual platforms or small formations. The new fighter is the centerpiece of a fully networked system with remote carriers. A single pilot projects power over a wider area, using expendable forward sensors and weapons. Air combat shifts from duels between jets to chess between networks. Sensor fusion and the air combat cloud take awareness to a new level. One platform can detect while another, even a drone miles away, fires, unseen by the target. The pilot becomes a mission commander, with automation aiding pure flying. Less a direct typhoon replacement, more a stealthy airborne command and control platform that fights and leads. A project of this magnitude carries a staggering price tag, tens of billions of euros, some estimates near 100 billion over its life, including procurement and sustainment. Multinational partnership shares the burden. Phased funding and long-term political commitment are essential. A demonstrator aims for the late 2020s or early 2030s. Full service entry not anticipated until 2040 or later. Designing, testing, integrating, certifying. It takes time. Over decades technology and geopolitics will change. The program must adapt. In return, Europe sustains tens of thousands of high-skilled jobs. Engineering, software, advanced manufacturing, materials. R&D spurs innovation beyond the military sphere. It is an investment in sovereign, cutting-edge industry, avoiding dependence on foreign tech. The challenge? Control costs and deliver on time, on budget. The hidden shape is coming into focus more than just a stealthier airplane. It embodies a new doctrine built on data, connectivity, and collaboration. A sentinel for Europe, commanding the skies through a unified system of systems for generations to come.